All right, so I'm about to put the back wheel on. So I have my chain tensioners here on loose, both sides. Oops. Both sides, the brake pads are spread apart. Uh, everything is where it should be. Chains put to the side. Uh, I have my wheel here. The spacers on the wheel here. Let me get the wheel in the frame. Actually, you guys can see it. Right here, the, uh, there's two spacers, right? So the thinner spacer is on the, on the drive side. The, the thicker spacer is on the uh, brake side. Okay, so make sure your brake caliper over here is a little bit out of the way while you slide the, slide the, uh, get the wheel in here. Okay. Now we need to line up the, uh, the uh, rotor with the, with the, with the caliper to be between the brake pads. Right now I have my feet in position so that way I could get my feet underneath the wheel when I lift this, this up so that way it's uh, something supporting the, uh, the, uh, the bottom of the wheel so that way I don't have to hold it up with my arms. My axle right here, uh, little, the little uh, spacer chain guide right here, it's there. And the bolt of the axle is on this side, the nuts on the, uh, the brake side. So I'm going to stick this in right here just to get it ready. I'm going to have the, the end of the bolt here flush with the, uh, with the inside of the swing arm here. So yeah, everything's lined up. Okay. I'm just going to lift this up. Why I lift this up, I get my feet underneath, uh, underneath and mine, mine the two spacers here. That way it's not uh, lined away, so everything looks like it's lined up. Okay, this one slides in. Now I'm using my feet to support the, the wheel to kind of wiggle the wheel around a little bit. So that way I could also wiggle my axle to get it, get it uh, good everything. All right. Okay, I think it. Okay, so the axle just slipped through the uh, the brake mount. So I need to line up the axle with the uh, with the um, with the uh, what's more they called the uh, the chain tensioner. Let's see the tension tensioner. On this side, but but on the other side, and then up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Through, it's not all the way through yet. Let's actually get the chain. Actually, let me push the wheel. So the chain tensioners are loose on both sides, pretty much all the way. I can push the wheel forward. Um, okay, let's push this one all the way through. There we go. That's pretty close. Let's get the chain, push the chain forward. Oh, she's made a wheel forward. Let's get the chain on here. Like so. Okay, hold that. Okay, so the chain's on the on the sprocket, on the chain wheel. Now I could uh, get the chain guide on there properly. Put the spacer with the guide facing these two tabs down on the bolt side. I see the the, the uh, nut side. Keep my nut on there. Make sure that thread where the bolt is, where the nut is, to go in on the other side. The threads are clean. And use a toothbrush to clean that up. So, do it there. So everything's lined up. Uh, I'm going to tighten up the chain tensioner a little bit just to take some of the flap away from the chain tensioner. Okay, so I have I see I have space on the uh, on the axles, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of take up some some of the tension on the, on the axle, but I'm not I'm actually not tightening the axle yet. I'm just getting it so that way it's almost. All the spaces and stuff is almost you know it's almost touching but not quite i have a little bit of a gap here probably a million a millimeter or so that way i can still move the wheel back and forth uh get the alignment right okay so that looks about right it's too much slack actually in the wheel right now yeah oh shit too much let me loosen up the bolt actually a little bit a little too tight Yeah, no. 
Now I need to make sure my the cap, the swing arm cap here with the actual uh, tensioner, chain tensioner is. It's lined up properly. That it's in the swing arm tube. If not, that misalign. Because you could easily misalign that. Uh, right. And now it looks like it's kind of misaligned. I don't know how to tell. Loosen up a little bit. Okay. I also always have a mallet with me. I usually hit the end of the wheel to let it push that that way so it gives me uh, a little bit of slack. Uh, okay, so the wheel for the most part is on. Now I just need to tension up the uh, the uh, Tensioner here. This feels a little on the tight side. Not quite sure. It's okay. I think I have a little bit of. Yeah, that's a little better. There we go, that's a little better. Use the mallet. Kind of loosen it up a little bit. Right side and the drive side. Try to, try to keep it even. Try to keep this tensioner, tensioner uh, the mount even. That way the wheel is nice and nice and square. Nice and square with the center line. Like the bike. Otherwise, it's going to be cock eyed like that or like that. And when that happens, it won't. Uh, this won't be very smooth. It's going to be kind of. You know, it's like the, Things sort of are in the way when that happens. So now I'm using the the lines here, the journal lines, just to I can see oops, where I'm at to keep the chain tension the same on both sides. Use the axle on the same on both sides. Let's check it. Yeah. Okay, there's plenty of slop in the plenty of slop in the the chain. Both sides, the journal marks are the same now, I think. Yeah, just about. Yeah, just about. Let's check this chain tensioner again. So the chain is actually a little dry, a little dirty. And I just washed, or well, I just cleaned them like earlier this week. They went on, I really went over 300 miles. Now it's like usually, wait for this. Current setup, anyways. I was like 300 miles and the chain is like way too you know, need, need some lube, clean and lube actually I can see some of the links not straight, it's kind of like it's you know the links, they should be straight but it's kind of almost kind of kink but they don't, it doesn't want to straighten out that's not a good sign so right now still too loose I was kind of, I'm looking for the tight spot but still too loose and go a little bit more here. So I'm looking at the journal, the journal line. I'm going to the end of the journal line where it ends. Uh, 
side but where it ends do the same thing to the other side Sometimes I like to hit the, hit the back of the wheel with the mallets. Make sure that it's all the way forward and pushing against the, the bolt. So that was uh, nice intention. There's still somewhat a lot of space there. Let's see if I can find a tight spot. Yeah, still a little bit of flop, a little bit too much. I could actually hit the chain on the the bottom of the swing arm, that means that's too much flop. We don't want that. Um, I mean, there's more free play than, than what's recommended. Recommended free play is one and three eighths of an inch. That's more than that. That's like, that's more, I think, I think it's like one and three quarters right now. So, adjust the chain tension a little bit more. I'm looking at, again at the general line. Now I'm one nine one line past the general line okay both of them look the same hit this in there so that we make sure that it's in nice and square still touching still touching the uh still touching the swing arm so that means it's still on the loose side. Yep, still on the loose side. Okay, there's more there. Okay, two width. Two width of the uh, general line. How about those? Okay, and a little bit. Oh, that's a little better. It's just, it's just shy of, just touches a little bit. So it's still a little bit on the loose side. So I actually reach this, the next general line. So I'm going to go to the middle of the next general line in there. Yeah. Um, actually, let me move the camera over like this. So hopefully, I can see that a little better. Other side. Much better. It's shy. Well, it's just it's still touching. Uh, it's still touching. That tells me I still can't find it. I find a tight spot. That means it's a little bit on the loose side. Um, I'm looking at the general line here, right in the middle of that general line right here. So I'm gonna go till the general line is at the end. Again, hit it with my mallet. Make sure that's nice and square. See that it's the wheels pushed that way as much as possible. Okay, that's, that feels much better. That feels right. I'm try to find a tight spot. Find a tight spot. Feels all the same. See when it feels all the same and you can't find a tight spot, that means it's a little bit on the loose side. Just and I, I'm like right there at the borderline. When I tighten up the axle, it will actually get tighter. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, so let's just leave it at that. Let's see. Uh, 
So this is side is 19 millimeters, other side is 24. My wheel wheel, but always it pushes the wheel wheel forward. So that way it's nice. I know that it's nice and square with the, uh, the center line like. So the torque on this should be about 60 or so. Uh, let's see, let's see how much looser it is now. So this cap is tight. That's good. Usually when you're when you're when you didn't push the wheel forward, this cap is still kind of loose and it jiggles. That means it's uh, you know you didn't quite do it right. Okay, so both sides are good. Both sides are good. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, just, just almost. Just if I for, force it, it will touch a little bit. Just slightly touch. That's actually just about right. Let's see if I can find a tight spot. Oh, I can't wait to find a tight spot. If it just about touches and down right there, it's just about right. I'm gonna call that good for the for the uh, tension. Now what I should double check is the the axle length, the pivot point, the pivot point of the swing arm to the uh, um, to the axle center, center to center on both sides. If they're the same, then it's uh, then I know that. The the wheel is square to the center line of this of the frame of the of the bike. So center to center is let's see. Let's see what this is center in the front. So center to center is twenty-three and an eighth. Twenty-three and an eighth. Let me check the other side. The other side's a little bit harder because it's the uh the uh exhaust is kind of in the way. Perfect. Sweet. So my journal lines here are actually they match both sides. So a lot of bikes, these little journal lines here, they don't match. Sometimes they're off by quite a bit, but this bike it matches. So I need to remember that. So next time I don't have to I don't have to measure that distance again. The axle to axle center to the uh, swing arm center. Um, so that's it. So I already tightened up the axle. Now I just need to tighten up these. These uh, nuts, 12 and uh, 12 and 14. Let's see, 14, That's it. I'm done with uh, with uh, putting the wheel on and tensioning the chain. All I need to do now is clean my chain and lube it. I should be good. Probably go on the ride tomorrow and uh, let's see how these new tires do. It's getting dark. I'm not sure if you guys can see anything. Um, but anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.